We start with an update on our breaking news. The crane collapse in Edgewater. Jermont Terry is live there. Jermont, what's going on now? Well, Brad, this heavy piece of equipment is still on its side, and it's going to take some time to get it upright. Currently, there are people in a nearby, nearby apartment building that are without power. Now, when this drill rig overturned, it came crashing down with force, taking with it power lines and the men operating the machinery. Now, there was an entire crew below and vehicles, too. One car's hood and windshield destroyed from this collapse. I spoke to a witness who was standing on this balcony when all of this unfolded. Take a listen as he describes the moment the operator and the crew realized something went wrong. The crane itself was on the platform of the L, so it tipped over and he was on the side. Um, but I could talk to him. I could hear him more easily than I can hear you because it was silent. And everybody said, are you okay? And he said, I've already radioed in that I'm okay. And I think the next thing I saw was them bring over a ladder. And he walked down the ladder the rest of the way under his own power. Now, the operator refused to go to the hospital. He walked away, as you heard, okay. And thankfully, no one on the ground was injured. That's miraculous, considering this piece of equipment is extremely heavy. Now, it will take some time, again, to get this upright. But first, investigators have to figure out exactly what went wrong here. Reporting live in Edgewater, I'm Jermont Terry. Brad, back to you. Jermont, our thanks.